Donna Briggs and today is Talk About It Tuesday. Hope you had a spectacular day. I know you did so far because you got up and you said your affirmations. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I live in abundance. I don't let any negative people, places, things, or environments affect my peace. Yes, and guess what? It's day 14 of the 30-day Positive Life Challenge. How are you guys doing out there? Well, today is Tuesday, which is Accountability Day, Accountability Day. So Tuesdays and Thursdays are Accountability Days. We're going to be accountable. Whew. So I had one day I had five negative things happen. And one day I had seven negative things happen. <clears throat> so yesterday was great. Didn't have any negative things happen. Um... No negative conversations, no negative interactions, nothing negative. Nobody cut me off in traffic, so that was good. Today was good. I got up, I said my affirmations. Um, you have to do that when you get up. It makes all the difference in the world. So, I just want to know how you guys are doing out there. Tell me in the comments below how you guys are doing. Are you doing great? Are you doing not so great? Tell me down below how you're doing on this 30-day positive life challenge. Tell me how you're doing. Because I want to know. Moving on to Talk About It Tuesday. So today's Tuesday. And I figured I'd do a question today. When you were growing up, how many times did you hear, I love you, and how many times were you shown affection um that's today's talk about a tuesday i really believe that that affects you in adulthood how many times people tell you they love you how many times you're hugged kissed um shown love shown affection now i was always accused of being too affectionate too loving too caring too mushy as they say but that's what I saw growing up. And I, I think I probably told you guys this before. Uh, my parents died when I was young. And they were very affectionate, right? And I really didn't appreciate them being so affectionate until they were gone. And then you grow up and you're like, oh my God, people aren't really that affectionate. Or they don't understand the affection. Or it makes people uncomfortable. A lot of people aren't comfortable with that. But if they're not grow, they don't grow up that way, it feels foreign to them. That's what I notice too. Like when I meet people, I don't automatically give them a hug. Uh, you know, I shake their hand, give them a hug. I'm, I'm a hugger, which is kind of strange right now and COVID and Delta, all these different diseases or whatever. But I'm very affectionate. And in relationships, I've known, noticed that Men want to be affectionate, but they're probably not used to the be having affection in their home. Or the, something happened to them and they're like shy away from it. But once people open up, they're usually affectionate. That's what I noticed too. So today's Talk About It Tuesday is, how did you grow up? Was it affection in your household? Was it no affection? Do you find it strange when someone is affectionate towards you? Does it make you uncomfortable? Now, for me, like I said before, I grew up with a lot of affection. So I give a lot of affection. And I think that's something that people should address when they're in relationships. How did the person grow up? Because if you're extremely affectionate, loving, caring, and it's not just showing affection hearing it i love you like i tell people i love them all the time my friends and family know that i love them if i don't if i don't love you i'm not gonna pretend i love you i'm not gonna tell you i love you and it's when you tell a person you love them it's not just saying it oh, i love you um do your actions match up to you saying that you love the person that's the question do they match up a lot of times people say things and it does not match up it doesn't match up so 
that's today's talk about it tuesday i love you guys and remember write down all the negative things that happened during the day so far for me nothing negative has happened Yay! no negative conversations people places or things so it's going great it's gonna be a great day remember today's a great day i live in abundance i let no negative people places or things pull down my excitement enthusiasm and love for everyone um that's a good question for you guys how did you grow up do you expect love can you give out love are you used to being love or is it more comfortable for you not to show love or the people that you're with not to show love let me know in the comments below let me know just let me know what you're thinking I love you guys. I appreciate you. And remember, make every day a great day. Live in abundance, kindness, and don't take anyone, people, places, or things for granted. Bye. See you tomorrow on Wisdom Wednesday. Bye.